The Arabic word charki means wind from the east. In northern Morocco, it blows almost constantly, driving 165 wind turbines at a wind farm in the reef mountains near Tangiers. Mohamed Oruijal is the wind farm's director. He, four engineers, and about two dozen technicians keep the turbines spinning. Every two days, they run a routine check on the plateau. The wind has to blow at an average of 10 meters a second to make the location profitable for wind turbines. Now it's generating about 17. When the wind speed reaches 25 meters per second, the turbine automatically shuts down. That kind of wind is too strong for the equipment. Spain and Germany helped finance the project. Renewable energy sources could supply a large part of Morocco's power needs without greenhouse gas emissions. As Morocco's economy grows, it needs more and more energy, the bulk of it passing through the port of Tangier. That's where Khadija Boumkassar has her seamstress's shop. The demand for her loose robes, worn by women, peaks in summer. But the city's power supply is really unreliable which is why Khadija has been thinking about installing a rooftop solar array. The power outages cause big problems for us. We have to stop work and our customers are unhappy. In addition, electricity is quite expensive. Sometimes I can't pay the power bill right away and then they turn it off. Over the long term, Morocco wants to produce enough energy for its needs from solar and wind power. Starting in late 2012, seven universities, such as this one in Rabat, will be offering master's degree programs in renewable energies. Specialists from Germany will be helping train engineers to run wind farms, for example. Developing wind parks in these regions can give also some uh, support for these regions, economical support. That's also why we have some training centers and uh, will be developed in Warzazat, in Ujda, in Tangier, uh, dedicated to these technologies. Morocco's plan is ambitious. By the year 2020, it wants to be able to generate 2,000 megawatt hours from wind power alone. That's 14 times the capacity now supplied by the wind farm near Tangiers.